What may be cute when they're young may not always be cute when they're older. Here's another story time for you. So, in the school I was in, all the leaders had to do an additional playground duty. So you'd either do the morning shift or the afternoon shift. I was on the afternoon shift. Like you do when you're doing a playground duty, you walk around, you talk to some of the parents and you talk to some of the children. And I happened to spy a child throwing chips at another child. Not only had the parents brought chips onto the playground, they thought it was hilarious. They were laughing hysterically. So I headed towards them, but another SLT member got there just before me. So I hovered in the wings, just in case, and he spoke to the child and the parent. Now this child had been involved in other low-level incidences. But our main concern was that the parents found these incidences funny. So anyway, fast forward three months. It was the end of playtime and the children needed to come in. And this particular child, let's call him Daniel, didn't want to come in. Now Daniel had a ball in his hand, so the teacher took the ball from him. Oh dear, dear, dear. Daniel decided that he was going to lose his mind. In front of two thirds of the school. So everyone got to see his out of control behavior, which wasn't very nice. And then Daniel decided to give the teacher one hefty slap. By this time, other teachers were on the playground and Daniel had to be restrained. Now, Daniel had no additional needs. Not that I'm excusing that behavior. I'm just saying that children with additional needs are given additional skills to deal with tense situations. So anyway, Daniel was escorted to the head's office and the children went back to class. So I was updated on the incident and I got some children to write down their version of events. And they explained that they were playing football and the bell went, but Daniel wanted to continue playing football. And they went on to say that the teacher asked Daniel for the ball, but Daniel refused to give it to her. So the teacher took the ball and Daniel hit the teacher. Oh no! So we contacted the parents and called them into the school. So we got Daniel to write down his version of events and he denied hitting the teacher, even though the teacher had a huge red mark on her arm. Duh. Now I forgot to mention the teacher didn't go back to class. She went to get her arm looked at and then she wrote up her version of events. Anyway, the parents came in for a meeting and we explained to them what had happened. Now, the strange thing was they didn't seem too bothered about his behavior. Now, that's weird. So we spoke to the class teacher and asked her if she'd come down to show them her arm and explain what had happened. She was happy to do so. So she explained what had happened and she showed them the mark on her arm. Now, most people would be mortified, shocked, embarrassed, upset, not these parents. And their response was, are you sure that he did that? Our Daniel would never do anything like that. There was a bit of a deathly silence. And the class teacher decided to leave before it all went left. So the head ended the deathly silence and explained that Daniel would be excluded temporarily. Well, that went down like a lead balloon. Parents said it was out of character and they were adamant that he would never, ever, ever do anything like that. Oh dear, denial is not your friend. So Daniel enters the room like nothing had happened, ran up to his parents and gave them a hug. So we got Daniel to explain his version of events again. And he repeated that he had never hit the teacher. Now in this school, there were cameras and the camera managed to capture that incident. So Daniel explained what had happened and there was no mention of hitting a teacher. So the parents said, my son would never hit anyone. Well, anyway, the head closed the meeting. We gave Daniel some work for the next three days and a letter. This is when the drama started. Daniel decided to kick off. The hefty slap that he gave to the teacher was nothing in comparison to what he gave to the parents. What was going on? What was I witnessing here? This was sheer and utter madness. We had to call for help. We had to separate Daniel from his parents. Anyway, they left eventually. And we just sat in the head's office thinking, what on earth did we just witness? Anyway, parents, what may seem cute when a child's little isn't always going to be cute when they get bigger. 
You might be laughing with them when they're little, but when they're bigger, they may be laughing at you. Anyway, Daniel and his family didn't come back to the school again. Here are some activity ideas. Related pronouns and it's sentence. Did you know you could do this? Student writing. Follow and like. Let's write. And it down. What is an expanded noun?